Okay, greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back to more Halo Wars Definitive Edition modding. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Insurrectionist faction. This is one of the three new factions added to the game. One for the UNSC, which is what we're taking a look at today. I already did a video on the Flood. I'll have a link to that as a card on the video for you to check out, and it's in the playlist. And then we have to uh, eventually try out the Jackal Leader. I'll probably also make another video showcasing there's differences in these uh, heroes as well. We saw some differences with the Arbiter uh, specifically. And it looks like, according to the comments of the last video, these descriptions are like completely incorrect. So maybe I can reach out to the creator of the mod and see if we can get that fixed. All right, let's dive in. Let's go in the docks. It's a phenomenal map. The docks. You know, I gotta tell you, even though mod support is cool and everything, I still really do miss the multiplayer functionality from back in the heydays of Halo Wars 2. Or Halo Wars 1, I should say. Let's go ahead and cancel this. I saw this. So we can build a rebel base here for 750 resources and one power. So let's go ahead and do that. Now let's go ahead and gather some crates now. Um, our supply pad is complete. You may not notice there's a huge difference here. <laughs> we can send supplies through AI player. That's kind of cool. Uh, I'm going to build a reactor third but we, you will see some small differences so you can build your hero uh, one Spartan out of your main base as well as this stolen grizzly uh, for four power and 2250 supplies that is a big big unit you can build three of them And you can see our AI teammate went opted for a turret. Another thing that's new is you can actually build watchtowers, just like in Halo Wars 2. And as you can see, as soon as I built that, I got a huge line of sight improvement. Reactor complete. All right, so we got our reactor complete. Let's upgrade these. And then we will build over there in just a moment. Now, does this line of sight improvement stack? Let's go ahead. Let me actually. So it goes right to this border here. It does stack. Look at that. So that's kind of kind of neat. I really think that, that was just. It's really simple that they should have added, and quite honestly, I, I just think that Ensemble it never crossed their mind to add a watchtower to increase line of sight. Because it just makes so much sense, and there's really no downside. I mean, besides the fact that you're not defending your base with real turrets. I guess it, if you really want to think about it, there's no cloaked units. See, I had this problem earlier when I tried to record or play this prior to recording. I have one power, and I have 750 supplies, but it doesn't let me build the rebel base. So I'll have to opt for the regular base, which is fine. Let's go ahead and get another supply pack. Get our supplies going here. And then we'll have a stroll and see what our opponents are doing. Now, as we tech up, there are a lot of cool stuff. So just, just stick with me here as we get our economy going and then we can really see some of the cool things this faction has. It may not be noticeable right now, because nothing's really changed, but especially in the air pad department, there's some really... And, and the vehicle depot has some cool stuff, so let's give it a couple of minutes here. So we just teched up. Let's build our barracks here. We'll do a vehicle depot there. Let me actually sack this and put the air pad here, so you can see all three units built from there. I do here. Supply pad complete. Okay. Alrighty, I see what I'm doing. 
Oh, you actually need two power to go to the vehicle depot. I knew that. I knew that. Barracks complete. So, this is where you get a little bit of a of a difference. Why is he going straight over there? I guess you just want to see what they're doing. Looks like they're building marines. We're going. There are rebel Supply infantry pack. that you can Wait. build. So let me just build the rebel infantry, and you can see they're going to look vastly different compared to the regular infantry. We can also build the snipers. Um, if you try to take out a rebel base or play some of the campaign or, or whatever, you'll see that there are sniper units in Halo Wars 1. And so that's what that is. They're actually pretty good. Um, and let's see. How do I zoom in on PC? There we go. We can zoom in here. You can really tell that this is completely different than the way that the regular infantry look. So that's kind of neat. Um, you can also build this veteran insurrectionist. And this is normally where the Spartan is, but they take up three population. That is a lot in Halo Wars 1. If I'm researching right, I think tanks are three. Uh, enemy forces inbound to this base. Oh, we enemy forces are inbound. Okay. Well, now that I've been sitting here for so long, I can upgrade. So let's build some uh, insurrectionists here, and we'll build our Spartan as well. I need to look into uh, online to see if that name—I don't even know how to pronounce that name—047 is is a real Spartan in this timeline. I'm going to assume that it's not. Um, so let's build a field armory here. We can build our vehicle depot. We can sack this and make this be the air pad. We can build some more awesome things. I'm really looking forward to uh, this air pad here. So here's our Spartan. Shoots me. Now, is how you actually upgrade this Spartan? I have no idea, because I'm not sure if this chain gun upgrade improves that Spartan or what. I'm also unsure if this sniper will shoot at this vehicle. Looks like they will. Which is kind of interesting. So we just got new blood. Looks like that worked for the insurrectionist faction. Or Marines, I should say. Field armory complete. Okay, here we go. Oh, it even worked for the. Fa oh no, it did. They're just really close together. The enemy now controls this location. So it's a little harder to see really what's going on here, All but <laughs> he rammed those infantry. I guess I'll do that too. Enemy attack. Incoming to this base. All units. They're really pesky here. As for our upgrades, it's kind of the usual. All units. Okay, you can like ram him. They're they're not gonna do anything, which is fine. Alright, let's go over this, because this is radically different than what we're used to in Halo Wars. We have our hornets and vultures. The enemy is fielding but now we have air upgrades, just similar to you have in Halo Wars 2. I believe that's also the case. It's not the case for infantry, but it is the case for vehicles. However, you have this Pelican, and it's a troop transport. And you can actually upgrade it to have a gun, to have a weapon. And that is so cool. So let's go ahead and get towards that. Let's upgrade our base here for more slots as for all this this all is identical all units. let's go ahead and while we're waiting get chain gun because I want to see if that happens to the insurrectionist or our Spartan over here this is a good opportunity to use the okay, new carpet I forgot how horrible this is the don't move. Now, I don't actually know what happens there, but everything vanished. And there's a big explosion, so. Who knows? 
Well, let's put our snipers in these towers. Let's clear out these towers. All unit. And then we'll we'll go to uh, try and obtain those vultures. Turret complete. Our enemy is neglecting his army. He's forgotten to train additional units. Okay, now let's gather in here. Well done. And that sniper will get in there. Awesome. Alright, let's get our third reactor up. I guess I'll get another air pad so I can do the upgrade and train units at the same time. I guess that really doesn't matter. But I'll train a couple of pelicans. Now, going over to the vehicle depot, we have some really cool things here. You have this modified grizzly. It says it's a placeholder description. <laughs> Uh, which I don't, I've, I've built both of these and I don't really comprehend the difference between the modified grizzly and our stolen grizzly. You also get the rhinos. Now, the rhinos are very similar to the Kodiaks we got in Halo Wars 2, but it's actually really cool how we get this. I think it's deployed the same way it is in the campaign, which is right here. Like a pelican is... Is that it? Does that drop it off? No, that's my pelican I ordered. There's the pelican that drops off. The rhino. And it drops it off right at the front of the base like you would expect. That is so neat. And then I can come over here. Air pad. Complete. Moving out. Here we go. Yes, we're going. And I think now don't quote me on this, but I think this is the same voice acting rhino that we see in the campaign which is really cool to see that in the mod so let's go ahead and get the pelican upgrade and the pelicans really become op here it, it's it's really cool to see you can of course transport your troops yes sir preparing to fire all right so we got the chain gun upgrade good to go sir locked and loaded i still Roger don't out. see a difference Watch this guy unlock, which is so cool. Peon, research. All right. Now you can get the Pelican upgrade one, which increases the damage and the health. Enemy engagement. Ooh, I actually get a chance to see the Pelicans in action here, and the Rhino. Now they're not really doing a ton of damage. Which I guess is fair. I guess now what I can do, I have so much resources, is I can upgrade this generator. And we can uh, build that stolen grizzly. <laughs> He's building infantry. Alright, let's build that modified grizzly so we can at least see what that looks like. And then I'll build this stolen grizzly so we can see what that looks like. Also, I have an increased population, and I guess I should have been paying attention. I'll find out when I edit the video. I don't know if we get that at the start of the game, or building a base, or what. Because I've not gotten reinforcements. But I believe playing as the Flood... Getting a new base increases your population. Oh, okay. Well, I certainly will flare. Our ally has sent us some supplies. All units. Thank you, ally. All right. So let's see where our. Ready. So there's our stolen grizzly, and if I zoom in here. It's, it looks like a Spartan with a star in it, and then this is the modified Grizzly. See, it doesn't... you can tell, like, on the front it's a little different. But, again, I don't understand what that what, what all that entails. Like how he's just gonna go blow everything up while I've been showcasing everything. I don't think vultures have changed either. There's still no healing unit. 
which I'm a little salty about. I, I really wanted there to be a, a healing oh, unit for the UNSC besides just heal and repair. Like an actual right. unit. unit. It also looks like all units does not select the pelicans. That's a different sort of selection. All units. Same with, uh... I was going to say same with the Grizzlies, but they are listening to my command. <laughs> I just think that's so cool that you can get a real Pelicans. So, he has canister shell. Oh, he has a scarab! Holy cow! Let's back up. <laughs> that is uh, unexpected for what? I guess 15 minutes. Maybe not. Our ally has been driven back. Yeah, no kidding. Well, that scarab is just gonna actually wreck us. So maybe GGs all around, unless this. Extremely expensive grizzly can do anything. He has wraiths too. For normal difficulty, that's uh, that's pretty bold. Pretty bold. Let's see what this does. Holy cow! Is it just like a bunch of Mac blasts or something? It's gonna destroy it. Get it. Do scarabs usually move that fast in Halo Wars 1? If they do, that's... I've been playing Halo Wars 2 so much for so long that... Oh, look at this! I totally missed this. Increase the resource income by 2. My resources are just gonna go like through Our the roof. Chat pods research. Let's see. Let's see what that does. Let's build some more pelicans. And I'm gonna upgrade them. Supply pad upgrade. Yeah, like look how quick I'm getting supplies now. <laughs> it's a little OP. Now I wanna see if I get like after medic, is there ODST? Insurrectionist infantry. I don't know. Look at that. 10 population for a modified grizzly. I don't think that that's worth. I'm going to have to speak to people about that. Ready to rock. It's pelicans. It's pelicans are OP. Ready. Ready. Do you have canister shell? You macked my sniper squad. I don't know how effective that rhino is. I would say not very at all. Let's see, let's have a look here. Okay, so we don't have medic, or I'm sorry, ODST, insurrectionist infantry. However, I think, um... This is a pretty good showcase. There's really need. I don't need to show you me beating these guys. Look at that. That is insane. I'm gonna have to play as uh, the brute chieftain to really figure out what got changed there. But this this mod is free. It works on both uh, Windows 10 and Steam. I'm playing on the Steam version. Um, it's a little bit easier to do on Steam. I made a tutorial on how to install this mod. Um, I'll link that in the description below. Um, and check out the playlist of trying out... Oh, look at that. If you look carefully, they got a new gun. Those wraiths. Looks like they're shooting a... Uh, <laughs> like a, a tank. Looks like it has the scorpion tank top on it. That's, uh, that's real interesting. So we'll have to try that out. There's a playlist I'm going to make of all of the changes to all the leaders in this mod for you to see. 
Uh, but yeah, if you have Halo Wars on PC, definitely try this. It's really easy to install and uninstall these mods if, if you don't like it. But I, I'd recommend it. It, it, it. Since the multiplayer is broken and they refuse to actually make a real multiplayer, um, it, it is kind of neat to see the changes that the modding community makes to Halo Wars kind of give it some more life. So thanks for watching. I'm Andrew from Team Respawn. And I'll see you, James. Rolling out the carpet. Initial cold bombs out.